What is up, guys? And may the 4th be with you. So, welcome to this Let's Talk, guys. Today, I'm going to be talking about what has Star Wars done to change your life, or does it have an impact in your life? Are you a fan of Star Wars, or are you not a fan, or you just don't give a fuck about Star Wars? But today is... May the 4th, Star Wars Day, so I thought I'd make a video, and today I'm going to be playing Star Wars Battlefront Imperials, so, uh, yeah, let's go get those rebel scum. But, uh, yeah, guys. Super excited, it's May 4th, love Star Wars, always have loved Star Wars, maybe you're not a fan, I know some of you are not a fan of Star Wars, I know, there are some of you guys that are not a fan, they don't know what Star Wars is, maybe you've seen a little bit of it and just don't really care, but uh, yeah guys, today I'm going to be talking about, and did you see that fail, oh my god, that was a fail shot right there, but yeah guys, I'm going to be talking about Star Wars today, and uh, what impact it had on my life. I've always been a Star Wars fan since, you know, I was a kid. And uh, I remember even having Star Wars toys, like miniatures. Um, one I, I definitely do remember was uh, I had a, a miniature, like, Millennium Falcon. And to this day, I beat myself up because I wish I had it. I remember throwing it out a long time ago. I was just a little kid. It was like a good-sized Millennium Falcon, and it opened up from the back. And the whole thing just opened it up so you can just, like, see the whole inside of it. It had little compartments. It had, like, little things you could, like, mess with. Um, like, some of the tables turned. Oh, my God. It was super awesome. It had a the satellite dish on top of it and everything. Like, it was super cool. And it had, like, little miniature characters on there. I think it had a Han Solo. Um, I think it came with Han Solo and Chewbacca, I think. I'm not sure what it came with. But um, another little miniature set I had was um, was Yoda's hut on Dagobah, which is like his little home, and it had like a little miniature uh, R2, where like uh, there's like a button where it slides or something like that. I think it like slid up to the window or something like that. I'm not sure. If I can get pictures of it, I'll post it up on the video, so you can see what I was talking about. But uh, yeah, I had those toys, and oh. If I still had those, man, how much I would make selling that stuff. I probably wouldn't even sell it. I'd probably still play with it if I still had it. But at that time, I was a kid, you know. Sometimes me and my mom back in the day would go through my toys and be like, okay, let's throw out some shit you're not playing with, you know. And Yeah. So I was a super, I was a big fan, you know. Um, yeah, my, my parents weren't really uh, into Star Wars. I mean, they liked it, but they weren't like, oh, you know. Um, but I remember seeing the... Uh, the original trilogy and I was like oh my god I love it I remember we had it on VHS yeah VHS and uh, I remember I loved it right when I saw it uh, I think with Star Wars that really made me a fan of the sci-fi um, Star Wars that was it was a fan of the sci-fi genre and um, and then I remember and I remember seeing in theaters when the, uh, Lucas re released um, the the special effects edition the the one where he put more shit in there and uh i remember loving it because i was just like oh my god because i remember i was like man i want to see the original trilogy in the theaters and i remember me and my friends seeing it, and i remember that we were seeing um i definitely remember seeing uh what was it return of the jedi because i remember that scene um yeah that's right that's uh we had like little toys and everything. God, they did like this huge thing. They would uh, give out toys and stuff like that. And um, and I remember seeing Return of the Jedi, and I remember and I remember being pissed because I remember the scene where um, they're in Jabba Jabba's palace, and the fucking the dance scene. You know the you know I was like, what the fuck is this? like this little fat thing just dancing and singing it's like this wasn't in the fucking trilogy and you know everything else was fine i was fine with but i was just like what is this shit you know i remember that being stupid and that was my attempt of uh flying in the game as you can see i'm not a very good pilot <laughs> but uh yeah anyways yeah um 
I remember seeing that in the theaters, and uh, oh my god, those are some good times, man. I was I was a kid and seeing that in theaters, I oh, loved it. Yeah, I remember Taco Bell doing a big old thing on the advertisement. Oh my god. Yeah, but uh, I, also I kind of grew up with Star Wars because you know they re-released the trilogy a few times, so I grew up with that, and then also, um, also the original, um, I mean the prequels. That's when they came out in my generation, so. I remember when Phantom Menace came out. That's when I kind of drifted away from Star Wars a little bit. You know, Phantom Menace came out. And I was just like, oh, cool. You know, like a new Star Wars is coming out. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Prequel and all that. At first, I remember I was confused because I remember seeing the, uh, I remember seeing, um, like, the advertisement, like the poster of it. And I remember it was the poster where um, Anakin, the younger Anakin, was uh, kind of walking. He's in Tatooine. And, like, the shadow of Darth Vader, like, the the overshadow of Darth Vader. And I remember thinking, I was just like, I was like, is this, like, a, a telling of a story of, like, Luke when he was a younger version? I remember thinking that. I was like, oh, this is a prequel of telling, like, Luke when he was, like, younger. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. You know, but then after, you know, seeing it, you know, that's when I was a kid, too. I was like, whatever. And, um, but that's when, you know, I started getting girlfriends and stuff like that that were into Star Wars. And I remember... Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. Um, yeah, oh, um, and to speak of um, Phantom Menace, you know, I remember people going crazy over Darth Maul. I was like, oh my god, that dude was fucking badass. I'll get back to Darth Maul. But, um, yeah, I didn't really see that one in the theaters. I think I saw that, like, when it came out in DVD or VHS, I'm not sure. Um... But, yeah, seeing episode two, that's when I saw it with my girlfriend. I had a girlfriend at the time and uh, loved it. I absolutely loved, you know, I don't have a problem with the, the prequels. I mean, back then I didn't because, you know, I was like, oh, my God, Star Wars, you know. I think episode three was probably my favorite, but Clone Wars was a close second because, um, you know, it's the start of the war, plus it was a love story, and uh, I was a sucker for the love story, because I had a girlfriend, and she loved Star Wars, and, she, you know, it was just like, oh, man, you know. It was, it was awesome to be, a, you know, a kid, like a little teenager, and watching Star Wars with your girlfriend, thinking, you know, oh, my gosh, she thinks I'm a Jedi and shit, you know. But, you know, that was back then. Of course, if you see the movies now, yeah, they are pretty bad, <laughs> but... uh yeah, I remember watching episode two, and then uh, being in the theaters, man, the one thing I do remember is people losing their fucking mind when um, when uh, Yoda started fighting, man. He started doing his force powers. We're like, oh, shit. You know, and then he pulls out his lights, and we're like, what the fuck? The first time you're seeing Yoda just, you know, duke it out, you know? <laughs> Get it? Duke it out with Count Dooku. Oh, shit. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, and then uh, probably episode three was my favorite. I remember uh, that's when some of my friends were big fans of Star Wars too, and we're like, you know, we're gonna go see it. We had to see it midnight release. I remember we got a midnight release, and um, no, I'm sorry, no, we didn't go midnight. I remember we saw it like a couple days after because the tickets were sold, but uh, we saw it like I think the next day after. I think it was. No, maybe it was that same day, but it was it was a midnight release. One of those. But I remember the movie theater being fucking packed. And uh, me and my friends, um, we went to go see it and loved it. And my friend at the time, he was even more um, geek, you know, about Star Wars. You know, he loved that shit. And, uh, yeah, we saw episode three. Um reason why I like episode three better than than the rest of the prequels just because, you know, it's it's when Anakin turns to the dark side and uh you know, I always was curious on how he turned to the dark side, what happened, how he became Darth Vader. I think everyone was waiting for that shit. They were like, what happens, you know? Was a little disappointed. I, I definitely wanted to see uh Anakin have do more darker shit. Like I wish he would have like yeah, he storms the Jedi Temple. I wanted to see him like fucking kill fools you know what i mean like i wanted him to i wanted him to see, like slaughter jedi yeah it shows him like you know the lightsaber and the yeah. sorry guys it's my phone yeah i mean he's about to slaughter um 
you know, um, the younglings, but you don't see it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it probably would have been cool, but, like, at least show him duke it out with some Jedi. Like, have him go up against, like, five Jedi. Like, fuck, that would have been badass. Like, I wanted to see that. Like, yeah, he takes out the fucking, um, you know, the Trade Federation. You know, it's like, but they're defenseless. Like, what the fuck? Like, I wanted to see him take down fools. You never really see him take down anybody. And so I was kind of disappointed that I wanted to see him go more darker, you know, like take out people, take out like the whole Jedi temple with blasters going by him. And oh, I was waiting for that. I was like, man, I want to see him go up against like a bunch of Padawans and just wreck shit. But we never got to see that. I was like, ah, eh, whatever, you know, he's fucking crying and blah, blah, blah. And whatever, Padme. I was like, whatever. You know, back then, that's I think that's what I didn't have a girlfriend, so I was like, man, I want to see him fuck people up. You know, so I was I was a little more mad back then, but um, yeah, um, and yeah, and that's that's when I was like, oh man, that's it, to the Star Wars. But uh, <laughs> yeah, Star Wars was oh man, super awesome. And I remember my friend, yeah, he was a super big fan, and that's when I was like, I kind of like let Star Wars go for a little bit because nothing was really going on. But I remember my friend back in the day. He had a huge collection of Star Wars stuff. Um, yeah, man. Like I remember, he had like some of the lightsabers and stuff like that. That's. I remember when I bought one of um, one of those LED lightsabers, and I I, used, I had one of the the first generation ones, man. Back when they were kind of like flimsy and shit. Now they like they perfected that shit. You have like, you know, um, battling sabers and stuff like that you can battle with, which are like ultra strong. Mine had, like, the little fiberglass ones, you know, that were, like, the first generation lightsabers they have. Now, you know, they're all over the place, and that was, like, oh, my God, like, years ago. But, yeah, my friend had uh, some of those. I remember he had uh, Mace Windu's. Mace Windu's, and he had um, Anakin Skywalker's, the one, uh, the light side one. Um, and also, he had just the hilt of uh, Darth Sidious. Pure gold lightsaber, man. Fucking amazing looking thing. You know, I always, like, tease them about it. I was like, man, you're a fucking loser. But now I'm just like, God, I wish I kind of had that shit. But, um, yeah. Yeah, and I remember one time, <laughs> uh, I was like, sometimes we'd, uh, duel, you know, you'd have duels with his lightsabers and stuff like that, you know, just, just fighting. And we made a little game up. We're like, oh, man, you know, what not to hit and how many points you got for this, you know, and... Yeah, man, we even made, like, a little movie um, because my friend wanted to be a director at that time, you know, and uh, that's when I was planning on going to school for uh, cinematography, believe it or not. And uh, so we'd always film stuff. we do, like, little snuff films and stuff. Not snuff films. <laughs> it's so bad. Like, little B-movie. I meant B-movie, like, movies, but uh, snuff films. But, um... Yeah, we just filmed some stuff, and I remember, like, we choreographed this whole Star Wars battle. We were, like, one of the first ones to fucking do it, too. And now, like, they're all over YouTube, you know, like, lightsaber battles. But we actually filmed one. I remember I was in it, and our other friend, we choreographed this whole battle scene, you know, inside of his house. And then, like, it moved on to the backyard and into the front yard. It was fucking dope. And, um... But, yeah, and we did that. And if we would have, like done that and back then when there was like no youtube like i think youtube was starting to get there um but uh yeah there was only like vloggers and stuff like that a lot of vloggers that's when like shay carl and all them were just barely uploading like their couple videos and stuff but um now they're huge youtubers and stuff but um yeah i remember we uh, we'd uh <laughs> we went to um we we're like yo man i'm tired of just fighting in here. We need to go somewhere. Like, let's fucking... Let's, uh... Because, like, they were building a school, like, right across the street. And, like, it was all still being built up. You know, still boards being put up. And and we're like, yo, let's let's go into the school and battle in there. You know, and we can film it and stuff like that. Uh, I don't think we took a camera. But, uh, we're like, fuck it. Let's just go over there. And, like, it was, like, you know, private property. So we couldn't go in there. It was closed. But we went in there, and I remember us, like, battling it out in, like, this... It was so fucking cool, just, like, in this built-up, like, woodland type of scenery. But it's, like, a built... Not yet built school. It was fucking awesome. 
you know, we were being stupid and, uh, <laughs> and I remember like, uh, one of the security guards kind of like saw us, like we saw him from the distance, like a flashlight turn on, like immediately, like, I can only imagine what he would have saw is just two lightsabers just turn off real quick. <laughs> Because we must have, like, both turned off our lightsabers. We were just both duking it out, and, like, we saw this light from far away. We're like, Shh. we're like, fuck. <laughs> but, yeah, and they were like, we waited a couple minutes, and then, like, I guess he called the cops. And, like, there was, like, four, like, cop cars just surrounding um, the school. And we can see all of them. We're like, fuck. And, you know, and, like, the security guard was kind of, like, coming in with his truck. And checking out the place, but we were staying hidden, man. We we're in like in the trenches. We we're in the dirt. We we're like fuck, cause we we're trying to get like, cause they had a hole through the fence, but like the security guard was parked there, so he's like he knew, like if we had to get out. And it was crazy, cause I parked my car in like this little, like hole area, and it was amazing. Like the cop didn't like stay there, cause like we had to like that's where my car was parked, and it was like this little parking area, like in this little nook. I guess they never saw it, you know, but, um, yeah, we ended up, like, just rolling through the trenches, like, we we're just, like, you know, prone, and just crawling and crawling, and finally we got to my car, and there's cops still all around, and I remember, like, we come up to the stoplight, I pulled out real quick, and then we're coming up to the stoplight, and I remember, like, all three cop cars are, like, near us, one was behind me, one was to my right, and one was to my left, all three of them are surrounding us, we're the only car at this stoplight, and I remember my friend freaking out in the in the back. He's like, "Dude, they know. Like, they know. We're, we're fucking dead. We're we're in trouble." I was like, "Shut up." I was like, "Don't say anything. Don't even look at them." I was like, "Just pretend we're not doing anything." And like the fucking lightsabers are sticking out <laughs> from my back seat and shit. And, oh yeah, but uh, yeah, the cop kind of followed. The woman behind us kind of followed us down the street, and but then he let us go. I mean. It, I think we were pretty obvious. We're like covered in dirt. Our faces are dirty, and uh, yeah, it was good times. But uh, yeah, we never got caught, and uh, yeah, it was good times though. But uh, yeah, that's the impact Star Wars has had in my life, you know. And now it's just a great time to be into Star Wars, man. Episode seven came out, and now it's just like, oh man, now they're filming episode eight. We got we got other movies like. I mean, we got TV shows, Star Wars Rebels, and all that, and Rogue One, we might be getting an Obi-Wan movie, like, fuck yeah, great time to be into Star Wars, but uh, yeah, guys, I thought I'd just talk about that, what impact has it had on your life, you know, have you, do you have any stories of Star Wars, like, or do you have a massive collection, talk about it in the comments section, let me know, but uh, yeah, man, great time to be into Star Wars. Unfortunately, we get a defeat in this one, but uh, it was a pretty good fight. 16 kills, 11 deaths. But alright guys, thank you for joining me. I'm Skull Ripper, and I'm out. Late. <laughs>